Hi, Chris here from Swatera Media. This video is going to be a little bit shorter. I'm basically making this video so that whenever I reference Reactor and Fusion, that I don't have to explain the whole process over and over again for each video. It's just making this so that way I can put a little link in the video to send people to. So this is Reactor here. Just a bunch of very amazing tools by some very, very generous creators. Very easy to set up. Like I said, just a list of different uh, tools and um, scripts and things like that that you can use alongside Fusion. To download it, very simple. Just Google Blackmagic Fusion Reactor. I believe if you don't include uh, Blackmagic, you may end up on some sort of list. But that will take you to this page. So you'll see installing Re Reactor visually. And there's a link here to download the script. So once that downloads, it's a very small script. Um, you want to come into Fusion. And you go to the file where you downloaded Reactor. It'll be a file that is .lua. And literally all you do is just click and drag into Fusion. It's going to ask you, you know, it's ready to install. You can choose a custom inst install path for it or just install it where it um, installs um, by default. So I'm not going to do that because I already have Reactor installed. So we'll skip to the next part. Once you have that installed, you may need to restart Fusion. And then we go to Reactor and open Reactor. And once you have Reactor open, it's really easy to install the uh, tools. Um, you just find something you like or you want to use. Audio Waveform's a very good one. Some of them will ask you very nicely if you want to donate to the person who created it. Highly recommend that. It's a very good idea to support these incredible people who uh, do things that I can't possibly understand to bring us amazing artistic tools. Um, another thing that I would recommend is back on the page, um, they have a link here to become a patron. Also a fantastic idea. Um, it's great to support stuff like this. They're doing this for free. Um, so it's a fantastic idea to give back just whatever you can. We want to support you know, our fellow community members when they make really amazing stuff for us. And then that's, that's really it. Um, there's not much more to it. You just got to go through, find stuff that you like. I don't know if I'll use all this stuff, but I'll just let it install. Now you saw it be going up above in the Fusion standalone, which I only use that because it's just a little bit easier to see tutorial-wise, a um, little less stuff going on. Um, the way you access Reactor um, in DaVinci Resolve, the installation is exactly the same. You just drag the Lua file you know, into the uh, node window here. And then once you have that installed, you go up to Workspace, Scripts, Reactor, and then open Reactor, just the same as in Fusion, um, just so you know where that is. So the install, like I said, the install is actually exactly the same between the two. Now, one other thing, a uh, new tutorial is coming soon. It looks like the people who voted, I really appreciate that people voted. I didn't expect to get a single vote, actually. Um, but it looks like people are overwhelmingly in favor of animating infographics. And um, basically, the way I read that one is um, visualize ways to visualize data. Now, with Fusion, it might be a little trickier to say, import a spreadsheet and make it interpret that data. But we're going to do some cool stuff, I think, with this. That should be coming out in the next couple of days, maybe late this week, something like that but it'll be soon. And as always, I'm always looking for ideas of uh, topics to cover. Um, I know what in interests me, but I'm more interested in what interests you. So please don't hesitate to let me know down below. And I do hope you found this video valuable. Until next time, bye-bye.